welcome to Mr. Otter's studio. Today we're going to be doing a reproduction of a very famous painting, The Starry Night by Vincent van Gogh. The oil pastels that we're using are these Craypass Junior Artist Pastels by Sakura. The nice thing with these oil pastels is that we can kind of get the effect of oil paint without the huge mess and maybe some of the dangerous chemicals that you need to use. So these are the supplies that you'll need. You need oil pastels and again I'm using these Craypass Junior Artist oil pastels by Sakura. These are the colors that you're going to need. Some yellows, I have a darker medium and then a really light yellow, and then a white and a black. A nice range of blues, I have a dark blue, I have a royal blue, medium, light, and very light blue. And I'm using two different greens, foresty green and a, a green that has a little bit of blue in it here, and then I'm using this, just this brown. I recommend having an image, even if it's just on your computer screen, of this painting while we're doing this. Also, I like to have a paper towel to clean up my oil pastels. Can you see how dirty my white is? and a pencil. These always remind me of taking tests. So what I like to do is look at the, the main shapes we have in this painting. A tall triangle, right, that comes up straight and kind of goes down in an angle. This cypress tree is hits about at the middle of the painting. If you look at the landscape, it kind of comes at an angle up this way. We have a ton of circles. And let's start drawing these basic shapes in here. Our drawing should fit in this space right here. So this should just be cut off. So just draw a line right here, just kind of sectioning this side off. But let's find the middle part of this page. So this is where our cypress tree begins and it comes all the way to the top of your paper. I'm just gonna put a a little dot there and it actually starts in but then comes out a little bit like that so let's just go ahead and draw that in it reminds me of a flame once you have the cypress tree or the flame shape let's draw in the mountains so there's one mountain that's coming up where this curves a little bump and then over here we're doing a little bump and then kind of coming in front of it another bump and then in front of that one, there's like a little hill, another one, and then it just comes up and over. The tree is in the foreground. It's what's closest to us. Next, let's go ahead and draw the church. So I'm just gonna start where this hill began. And what we're gonna do is just draw a triangle, but we're not gonna put the bottom on the triangle. So we're doing a triangle, but we are not putting the bottom on it. Instead, we're drawing two lines down like that. Pretty simple. And then draw a line straight over from the top of it. And then draw a line straight over from the side of it. And then a line down. From this little point here where this roof hits this corner right here, we're going to draw another triangle without a bottom, but a little bit taller and a line down. I'm just gonna draw a rectangle inside of that. And then from the roof, you're gonna draw a line over and down and this is kind of parallel with that and then it needs to meet up with this and there's a line here and there's also a rectangle in here now just draw a square on top of this roof it'd be a little taller and then we're gonna draw this nice steeple which is a thin triangle and there's also a line coming out from this roof in the middle another line coming down there are some houses and things in here just follow along with me so draw a line that's straight another line two lines that are parallel that are diagonal and then a line down then two more lines that are parallel ones that go across the top and down and then another roof and then i just want to indicate where these hills are down here i'm just going to do some curves see if there's also a hill right here some bushes right here and here is the basic parts of the middle ground now let's move up to the sky there's this strange shape right here that i think we just need to put in really quick it comes off the top of this second hill over from the cypress tree just go straight along the top of these bumps and then once we get close to the hill we're going to curve it back and curve it back again and make a little bump at the top draw this nice thin line that kind of comes down, goes behind the trees, and then up at a bump. Now let's draw the moon and the stars. When I'm drawing these, I'm drawing this shape, not that shape. So I'm drawing that shape, not this middle part. Let's go ahead and put our big shape for the moon. It's going to be up here. So here's the shape for the moon. And then we're going to draw the swirling sky thing that's going on because it's going to help us place our stars. So what we have is this current that's coming down, curving up, and coming down about like this. Okay, so we just have this nice curved line, and then we have one that's coming under it. Gets a little thinner right here, and then comes down in to just a little ball. And then out of this, from inside of it, you're gonna draw another curved line that follows it and curves in like that. And this actually kind of comes around like that and curves in. So once you draw this current or this movement that's going on in the sky, let's go ahead and draw the rest of the stars in. There's 11 stars. So let's go ahead and draw the ones that are closest to this. So there's one just tucked right in here, one up above it, a smaller one here, bigger one right here, big one right next to our cypress tree. There's this really cool one up here, small one by itself, and then there's one nestled right up to our tree, a large one in here, and then a small one up by that current. Now let's go ahead and let's just block in some of our basic colors. I'm just gonna take my medium blue and I'm just going to start shading in some of these mountains. 
and then I'm going to take one of my greens and I'm just gonna block in the green of this tree. You'll notice I'm using the side of it. I'm not using a point. I'm just kind of getting some color on here. So just take your green and kind of block in the colors of your cypress tree. With your darker blue, go ahead and block in this area in here. And then with this darker blue, take your darker blue and I'm just using the side of it. I'm just doing everything above this line. Just be careful not to draw over your stars or you're gonna have a green star. Once we have that blocked in, let's go ahead and we'll put a lighter blue in here. So I'm just gonna choose my lightest color and put it in here. And then I'm also going to block in this blue that's going on the swirl in the sky. In the village, let's just take the same blue that we put up here in the mountains. And I'm just gonna kinda go over the village a little bit here. I don't wanna cover up my houses completely. Put it in here and then I'm gonna take the green that I used on my tree, put it in here a little bit where these bushes are. And now let's work on where the stars are. So take your lighter yellow and we wanna make this pretty dark, covering this area completely. Now that we have those basic things blocked out, let's go ahead and let's start putting some definition in some of these hills. So I'm just gonna grab a medium blue and kind of start shading in some of this hill right here. We're just making these dash marks along these hills, following the contour of them. Okay, and then we just have some, I'm just gonna put some lines in here. There's some trees right in here. And now let's take that same blue and let's bring it up into the sky and make some lines. If this was water, it's flowing along this line right here. So we're just making our current that's coming through the sky. This current goes around our moon. I'm using my lighter blue, and I'm just gonna come along the bottom of this sky and move this line up. And I'm gonna get my darker blue and just bring it in there just a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my darker blue and bring it into the swirl. And then I'm gonna get my, my darkest blue and I'm gonna put it up here in the sky, bring it kind of around the moon. Now we have these basic shapes and things that are blocked in. We need a few more light parts down here in the village. Grab some of the blue on your white. So basically I'm just taking my white and mixing it with the blue and drawing over these shapes that we had in earlier. And I do wanna take my white and put it in this hill. And I'm trying to follow the same lines here. Up and over. Down in the town, let's also grab our green. We're just gonna put in some shapes down in here. Since the cypress tree is closest to us, let's go ahead and work on that one. Take your darker green and go ahead and put that in nice and bold. I'm gonna take my light yellow, mix it in. So I'm just making that lighter green with my yellow. There's kind of a lighter green in here just a little bit. And then I'm gonna take my brown and bring it into that cypress tree. Now in the town, let's just get a little bit more blue in here. Outline these buildings. A little bit darker. Once you've done that, let's go ahead and I'm gonna take the slider color and go over the top. Just kind of fill in these areas that are blank with this lighter color. Take your black, come along the tops of these mountains. Um, this one right here. Okay, so we kind of have a little definition in there and then let's go ahead and outline our our little church. So I'm just doing C's around these structures and I'm gonna put the black in here. This is a really dark hill right here. Where these hills meet each other, it kinda gets dark. So I'm just gonna put some black lines in there and then I'm gonna take the blue over the top of it and just kinda blend it in a little bit. And I need to make this field a little bit darker in here. 
I'm just gonna grab my medium glue and I'm gonna come in here and just add some lines just so we'll bring it out to the edge here. The marks that I'm making most of the time are just look like a C. Now let's take that black and let's go ahead and go over the cypress tree. Now let's work on our sky. I'm gonna grab this orange and kind of make this nice crescent moon. And then I'm gonna take my white. If you uh, messed up on the shape of your moon, throw this in there, blend the white with the blue. It's not gonna matter too much if I put my white over my yellow, but I don't wanna put my blue over my yellow or else I'm gonna have green. I'm gonna bring this blue back around this. Let's just grab our yellow. And some of them are bigger, some of them are smaller. Let's just kind of. Also, while we have this yellow down in the village, there's actually some yellow parts. So just draw kind of hard and you can drop some yellow in there. Once we have the dots in the middle of our stars, let's work more on our sky. Let's work first in this area right here. Use white. So grab your black and outline the bottom of that. Add some diagonal lines in here and then bring your blue back over the top of it and you can smooth it out. Now let's take our medium blue and let's go ahead and put some of those awesome lines back in the sky. Now let's take our light blue and let's start filling in these darker areas with it with the same motion and movement that we were using before. Go around the moon, around the swirls, So notice we're doing dark underneath and lighter on top. I'm gonna take my lighter color and just go over some of these in here. They're just too dark. Let's take our darkest blue and let's go ahead and drop in some of the movement that's going on in the sky that we kind of lost as we smudged it all together. I'm gonna take my black and I'm gonna put some of it up here along the edges. Let's go ahead and take a dark blue. Anywhere I put the black, I'm gonna come in with my blue and go by it. We need some of these lines coming around the moon. Almost like you're doing a dashed line around them. Look at your drawing and just look at any parts that don't really make sense to you or you would like to make darker, add more color to. And I'm just gonna add some more into my sky. And the last thing is this white. Anywhere you kind of lost the lines, you can create those dashes in there. Okay, so this is just a very, very beginning tutorial with using oil pastels. I hope you will experiment with them a little bit more. I hope you enjoyed drawing this with me and have a wonderful day. We will see you around on YouTube.